Hey you guys, so today I have a car tutorial for you and it's going to be a Father's Day car tutorial. I know that that's not the next holiday that's coming up, um, Memorial Day is, but I don't really make cards for M Memorial Day. Maybe I'll think of making one, but um, for now I'm just going to try to do some Father's Day cards with you guys. So I'm just going to get right to it. Today we're going to be using, um, I just picked up the Studio G cards and envelopes for crafting. These are from Michaels for a dollar in their dollar bin. And so I just picked up a couple of these because it has a embossed hexagon pattern. And um, I don't have any tools for embossing so I was excited to um, at least get some pre-made cards that had embossing on it. Okay, so this is how the card looks. Um, it measures four by six. It's not an A2 size card. It's just a little bit smaller this way, but a little bit longer that way. Okay, so it open it's gonna be opening up that way. And here's a closer look of the embossed pattern. So it's really, really cool. So this is, I'm not going to really do anything to the card itself, so I'm just going to put this aside. Um, the next thing that I have is just this little t-shirt here that I made. I made this with um, a journaling card from Me and My Big Ideas, and I will be showing you in a haul video that I don't have up right now. I will be showing you um, a couple things that I bought, and this was um, one of them. So the journaling card looks like this and I tried to not get any of the pink inside of the shirt um, so that way it looks like this okay and I will show you here how I made this so it's very simple you don't need a die cutting machine or anything like that I made a card that actually had a t-shirt that was actually shaped like a father's day or a guy's polo t-shirt so um I'm just going to do like a little mini embellishment now instead of a whole card. So what I had um, did was I cut a one and a half inch square and then you can just eyeball the center if you're not perfect, if you don't need it to be perfect. So I'm just going to eyeball the center and just cut about a half an inch downwards. Okay, so it's going to, I don't know if you could see it, but it cut just right there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the two ends here that split and you're just going to fold those downwards. So let me see here. And I'm just going to use my bone folder to crease the ends and this is what's going to make your collar part. Now for the other, um, the tie and the pocket, so this is how that looks. So you have your little flaps there. For the pocket and the little tie that I have on here, I actually just hand cut those. Um, you can draw them out and measure them and everything, but I just eyeballed it. I didn't do any drawing on the cardstock. I just cut it with my scissors. Um, so, I mean, it turned out okay. And so it looks like a t-shirt to me, so I'm fine with that. Um, some people actually need it to be kind of precise so you know you can always measure it draw it out first but um, that's how I did mine and I uh, the next thing that we're going to be doing is now that we have our little embellishment for our card I have a piece here and I'm not quite sure what this measures actually it measures two inches and we're going to be cutting it down so um, it measures two inches right now by six inches. And I, what I did was I just cut a fishtail end to it to make a banner piece. But I'm not gonna be um, worrying too much about the top part because that's gonna get cut off. So it's just gonna lay on our card right here on the side. And we're gonna have our little t-shirt be right up top right here. So I'm going to use my pencil and I'm gonna mark where I'm gonna put my t-shirt at. Because for our sentiment, it's gonna go right underneath. Okay, so with my pencil, I just marked with a pencil, hopefully you guys can see that, where I, um, I'm going to put my sentiment, so right there. Okay, and so now I'm just going to set these aside, and the stamps that I'm going to use, because I don't have a Father's Day um, 
sentiment stamp. I'm going to use just these Studio G alphabet stamps. And I'm going to just use some embossing ink because we're going to emboss um, on the black piece of cardstock. Now, I was going to use Versamark, but it's going to be a little hard to, for me to see. So I love this tinted Big Emboss It by Ranger. Um, you, if you don't have this, Versamark works fine. But this actually will help you out if you're using wooden block stamps because you'll um, be able to still see it on the black cardstock because it has a blue tint to it. So I'm going to go and grab my embossing buddy because I did not bring that and I don't want any um, static cling to my cardstock. So okay, my... so I rearranged my um, little studio area and it, it took me a while to go and look for this. So finally found it and it's just a little um, pouch that's full of like cornstarch or some kind of powdery substance. And what I'm going to do is just rub it where I'm going to do my sentiment. I get powder all over and then I'm going to go and start stamping my sentiment so it's just gonna say happy Father's Day and I'm actually gonna do fathers first going to the right is gonna be easier because these letters are close to the edge so that way you can just um, put the end of the stamp right close to the last letter you stamped and it'll be right next to it but going to the left, it's a little bit harder because now you have a gap on the other side. Probably doesn't make sense, but <laughs> yeah. So now that I have Father's down, I'm going to put the embossing powder on it and then work on Happy and Day. Just so that way the ink doesn't dry up because it is a little bit cold here, so it might dry up a little bit easier. So yeah. It's going to have, have a little whimsical look to it, but I'm not too worried. Okay, so I'm going to work on the next um, words, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I want to add, because there's just this, that little bit of space right there, I want to add a little heart. So I have a, this stamp set um, from Michaels. Um, this doesn't have a name, so I'm not quite sure what um, it is, but it is by Recollections, and it has ladybugs on it. And it was from their... Um, I got it during winter. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be for their spring or summer. I'm not quite sure. But this is um, 2012. So, Sorry if you hear my dog. He's outside using the restroom. And he is right outside my window because our backyard is right where I'm working. And so I'm going to go try to finish this up here so I can let him in. And I don't... No. Okay, so I'm going to just put this on my acrylic block. Okay, and then I'm going to sprinkle some white embossing powder on here. Bills. And so now I'm going to take this to my heat embossing tool and I'm going to let my dog in and I'm going to go and heat this up. Okay, so now that's how that looks. So it just says Happy Father's Day. And so now we're just going to go and finish our card. So I'm just going to go and lay this out and see where it's. So I'm going to adhere this, but before I adhere it down, I think I want to tie some baker's twine right at the bottom here, or maybe at the top. And I don't know if I want to use like some red or some black. Might use some red so that way there's color. So Okay, so now that's how that looks, and we're going to first put down our banner piece before we adhere this piece down. So, well, actually, I'm going to have to adhere this down. So, I just put some pop, um, some adhesive or some foam adhesive on the top, on the back, and so I'm just going to use some liquid glue to adhere this down. 
I'm just going to use some quick dry adhesive, which is what I have on hand. I'm just going to adhere this down. and then we'll go in and tear this down. Now because this has some texture to it, I'm going to use some double-sided adhesive instead of my rolling adhesive or my roller adhesive. So I'm going to lay it right on top. Go in and tear this down. Okay, I'm going to just trim this off. Okay. So I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit from all the squishing. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white gel pen and I'm going to do some faux stitching around the banner piece. So that's how the outside of our card looks. Now I'm going to work on the inside and I just want to do a little thing in the middle like a sentiment. So I have, okay, so I have another recollection stamp that I bought when I got this stamp set here. And I'm going to use this large I love you. Okay, and then I'm going to use just some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. going to ink this up. Okay, so that's how that looks. So it just says I love you. And then for the back of the card, which I usually do, I'm just going to take my little um, scissors punch that I showed you in my haul video. And I'm going to punch out a, from some black cardstock some scissors. I'm just going to adhere it to the back and I'm just going to um, go around it with a faux stitch. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a black marker and just put my name. Okay, so then that's how the back looks. So here is the back, here is the inside of the card, and then here is the outside of the card. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this Father's Day card tutorial. Hopefully I can get one more in. Um, and yeah, that's all for today's card tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.